Hey yo, this is Yeti Whiskers, and welcome back to some more modded Minecraft here on Regrowth. So, I've been playing a little bit off camera here, mostly just gathering different saplings. I wanted to show you guys real quick what I've got. This is the Japanese maple shrub. I think in there somewhere there is actually wood. I don't know, I haven't dropped it down yet. And then we got ourselves an autumn log. This is a cypress tree, the regular one. And then over here we've got ourselves the sakura log. I'm trying to think. And we got a jungle tree. So these are the furs we had before. And then just. Uh, I'm trying to think. Those are the, I think those are the only new ones that we've got. And I'll probably continue to get more and more trees off camera as I play. But we've got a few more seeds that have reached the end of the line here. So what we're going to do is harvest these guys real quick. Check the seed analyzer. See if we finally have got the maxed out seeds that we've been wanting. And I think these ones should be for sure. Ugh, we're getting close. 10, 10, 8. Very, very close. Let's see, potato seeds. 10, 10, 10. Perfect. Okay, so we're done with potatoes. We can just let those grow from now on. And, oh, really close on the carrots too. All right, so let's go plant these real quick. And grab some crop sticks first. I don't think I have any, in, not very many in my inventory. We're probably going to need more than this. So bring these along with us. And we will replant these things. Should be the last time we need anything for wheat. At least I hope. Let's see. Let's check those down. We're not going to need those. They're just junk right now anyway. And do 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 do. Boop. Okay. We'll do the same for these. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I wanted to take mention of. Last week I made a video every single weekday. And that was just a trial thing uh, to see if I, kind of a challenge, I guess, to see if I could and see how I liked it. I did enjoy it, but um, honestly, it just takes too much time. Let's see what these ones are. I don't have that kind of time to devote to I'll put these potatoes, I guess. Yeah, those are potatoes. Um, I don't have the time to devote it every single week to do a video every single weekday. So I'll try and do about two, maybe a week, maybe one modded and one vanilla if I have the time. Anyway, okay, so that's all good, and I hope you guys understand that I just I just don't have the time every single week to put into um, making five videos. It takes a lot of time. All right, let's put all these back in here. Sorry, I should have done this while I was off camera, but I've been also uh, been gathering dirt and spreading dirt. You may or may not notice most of it's under and over here. You can see it's starting to the grass is starting to spread under the gazebo here. And then I also came up here and put some chests with our seed analyzer for some of the food that we've gathered. Doot, doot. Okay, let's go get ourselves some quests. So, first things first, got to go through our menu here, of course. I'm going to readjust my mic. I might get a little bit louder here. Sorry about that. Let's see. Open. First things first, sunshine and lollipops. These flowers use the energy of the sun to concentrate mana into more tangible form, which you believe you should be able to manipulate. So all we need to do is to get ourselves some day bloom flowers. And I think it's pretty simple to do that. If we open up this and use this day bloom flowers here. And I think, okay, so we're going to need the petal apothecary. We're going to need yellow, two yellows, an orange, and a blue. I think we should have those. Oh, that's weird. I noticed that this is kind of a bug that regrowth has. For some reason, if you have some stuff typed in there, your, um, what do they call this, GUI, goes a little weird. Okay, so we need light blue. No, we need yellow. I think we needed two of a blue, a blue one, and orange. Was that the other one? I think so. Let's double check that real quick. Monday. Oops, if I can spell. Day bloom. Orange petal. Yep. Okay. And then I think you just need seeds. Uh, if I can type here. Sorry, I can't see my keyboard when I play to try and cut down on some of the noise. So I make a lot of typos. And I, just any seeds, I think. Let's make these into flowers. Oh, good. Two there. So we don't need the other f plant. Two there to there. Okay. 
we just go back up to our petal apothecary up here. We've got water in it. I also made this little like infinite water source just so I don't have to go, I don't know, a few more blocks down there to the ocean. And this. Okay, so we go Q, 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 and Q. Ah, okay, so I think this indicator means that we're good. And we just need our seeds, I think. Q. Uh, Q. How do we work this thing? Boop. Ah, I can't remember how we work this thing. Let's see if I can find some seeds real quick. Uh, Agricraft seeds. I don't know what we need. Hold on, let's... Let's see, open up our Lexica Botanica. I think Botania, Botanica, whatever. Let's see, we'll open this up. You help me out here real quick. Da -da 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 -da. Basics and mechanics, generating flora, functional. Da -da 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 -da. So, uh, let's try this. Petal Apothecary, yeah, okay. Da -da -da. It's not this one. This black is one place to give me uh, Let's see, sorry. Throwing in some seeds will finalize the process. Okay. Just any seeds? I thought that's what we had here. Boop. For some reason, I won't take it. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go try and find some regular seeds. I'll be back in just a second when I found them. Okay, we're back. So I looked at the recipe again. We don't need blue. We need light blue petals. That was the problem, I think. So let's try this again with our the correct recipe I hope and we should get ourselves a day bloom flower cross your fingers everybody okay so one of these I'd hope that the ordered also doesn't matter I don't really kn oh yeah there we go okay it worked how to play Batania very well Blue! all right we got an and achievement as well as a quest so that is exciting we did it I've never played Batania before so bear with me here oh, this isn't the, the quest book oh having issues here we go try this again quest book okay so we claim our reward we want nightshades or day blooms I don't know the difference so let's play day bloom sure why not a nice little jingle okay next we need a one what a wonderful world wonderful world the lexica Batania mentions a wand which lets you see the flow of mana more clearly sounds like it'll be useful for making sure your botanical systems are working so we just have to correct uh, craft ourselves the wand of the forest let's do this real quick Hopefully this one isn't too bad either. Wand of the forest. Okay, so we need living wood twigs and then just petals. And the living wood twigs. Okay, that should be pretty simple. I think we've got living wood here. Yep. And then we should just go down to our crafting bench real quick. Boop. Man, this drives me crazy. I don't know why it does this, but whatever. Okay. Now, it's just recently started happening, so let's do one, two, three, let's do five, just to be on the safe side, and then we go doot, 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 I think, um, petals, I hope they don't have to be the same, wand of the forest, perfect, busting right through these quests today, and we get some more floral flirtizer, which we don't really need, our nice little jingle again, and looks like we've got one more thing. Spreading the love. So this living wood seems to be able to channel and direct mana around the world in ways you never would have thought possible. And the living rock hoards mana directed at, only releasing it under the direction of the wood. Okay, so we need to make a mana spreader. First of all, you want to be able to move mana around, which is where mana spreaders come in. Okay, so we should be able to find that real quick. I don't think they're real hard to make either. Mana spreader. Yep, just some living wood, like a C, and then another petal. I've got some petals in my inventory. Okay, I'll just do this real quick. Boop. And a boom. And we've got ourselves a mana spreader. Nice and quick crafting task. Next, we're going to want to be able to store it, which is done with a mana pool. These hold a lot, but if you need a smaller buffer, there is diluted variant for this very reason. Next, we need to make a mana pool. I think these are also pretty easy to make. Let's see. We just need the living rock, kind of like a buckety type shape, and then we should be good. So um, I think the Wand of the Forest, what it does is, 
uh, it connects. So, like, you put a bunch of flowers down, like the day bloom, and they collect mana. And then you need a mana spreader to shoot it at the mana pool. And I think the one to the forest, wherever that went, connects them. So the, it connects the flower to the mana spreader to the mana pool so that you can collect all your mana. And then you use your mana later for different things. And I'm sure we'll get into that here pretty quick. Okay, so we've done all that. And then we'll get more day bloom. Ah, let's go nightshade this time. Why not get our jingle? And let's see. We've got a few more minutes here. Uh... Soiled plants. Oh, this is good. I think this is one of the things I was talking about. Okay, soiled plants. Simple farmland is all well and good for basic plants, but if you want to grow anything particularly worthwhile, investing some time into producing better alternative could prove worthwhile. One method to create more fertile soil is by compo composting organic material. So this is where we're going to use our garbage seeds that we just don't need anymore. So to do this, you'll need somewhere to put the organics to let them decompose into compost. Hovering over the slots in the compost bin GUI will indicate what can be composted. Okay, so we need to build ourselves a compost bin, and we're just gonna keep that, I think, over here by the seed analyzer, so we can just come down and toss them when we're done. So, let us look up the recipe for a compost bin. Bunch of sticks and then some slabs. Luckily, we have plenty of both right here. So many sticks. Uh, the reason we have so many is uh, when you break those dead trees, you, they just come in like multitudes. Tons and tons and tons of sticks. Okay, like this. And like that. And we've got ourselves a compost bin. Man, getting our inventory full just from the quest stuff. Okay, so let's put that, maybe put that like right here for now. And then you can see um, we can put in just a bunch of seeds, I think. Yeah, and then they'll compost and get us some fertile soil. So we have like chests full of just garbage seeds that we can do this with. So let's open up our quest book. Got it? Oh, we got another one. Once you've gotten yourself some compost from the compost bin, simply mix it with dirt to create garden soil, a much more fertile alternative to dirt, which you can also till into soil for ideal farming. Okay, so we got to make garden soil. And to do that, we're going to need to get a bunch of this compost going. So let's just uh, fill our inventory with some of these seeds. And then we'll go back over here and fill this up again with seeds, seeds, seeds. Seeds, seeds, and I think that's it for now. Oh yeah, okay, so then we got like this in here. And I think once it's ready, we can grab this out and then we'll have to mix it with dirt. So let's go drop off some of our Batania stuff, clear out some of our inventory real quick. Floral fertilizer can go there. We got zombie brains and stuff. We don't need those. We don't need the zombie flesh either. And we don't. Well, I like to keep a little bit of this on hand just in case some of our stuff doesn't repair. Okay, we're getting close. Let's grab a few more seeds just to be safe. That way we can make sure we have enough. Oh, let's actually grab some dirt since we're over here as well. We and combine those and get ourselves some fertile soil. Hey, there we go. Now let's see. Compost. Then I think it's as simple as like this garden soil. Heyo! And we've got it. So we get some more compost, which is good. All right, we've got just a few more uh, quests. I think we're going to actually take care of that next time. We did quite a few one, two, three, four different quests today. Uh, it was pretty good. So I'm going to continue to do a few different things off, off camera. I'll continue to spread the dirt so we can get the actual regrowth of the world going. Um, maybe next time we'll do more of a building episode, get ourselves a little bit of a house since we've got some wood now. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and then I've also liked to, i got a little bit of a plan of what I'd like to do with the Batania setup. We'll get um, the mana pool spreader, all that fun stuff set up here, maybe in the next episode or the one after that. I'll show you a little bit how that works. Again, I'm a pretty noob on that. So uh, you'll have to bear with me and maybe give me some tips. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. We really appreciate it, and we'll catch you at the next one.